Can I get a dozen assorted, please? Anything else? That's it. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good one. Thank you. I mean, Paul, I'm always reading that backwards like I'm dyslexic. Because I am dyslexic. You didn't know that? Good morning, Ashley. Oh, what's up? How, you How are you? Good. Good, good, good. What's going on? What's happening? Nothing. Told you I'd come by. Hey, Mike, what's happening? Hey, howdy, hey, and hello. How are you? Right. How are you doing this morning? I'm good. Very good. I'm good. I'm glad you made it through the uh, the the Arctic tundra weather out Dude, there. It's gonna be crazy. Negative what eight tonight? It's I like, know. Holy crap! I know. No thanks. I got the space heater running at home. Fire hazard. Inside. <laughs> Fire hazard. Yeah, I'm gonna get it pretty warm <laughs> when I get back. Nice. So we got right here. We've got XRTs with the screws. XRTs without the screws. We have Outcast front bumper mounts. We also have Creighton front bumper mounts. These right here haven't even been released onto the store, the orange color. That's exclusive right now, at least exclusive today for uh, Hobby Quarters. And then obviously we've got the green. He chose the strapped in white. The Hobby Quarters has the brand new Sky RC GPS encapsulator in orange with a blue strap. This is an exclusive color right here. So come on down to Hobby Quarters over here. Get your uh, RC Guy Garage uh, 3D printed stuff. And uh, I'm gonna litter a couple of stickers around the store. So if uh, you come into Hobby Quarters, uh, keep an eye out for the RC Guy Garage team, not one bad stickers. So there we go. These are like so if bad you press like on them, this before right. it even shipped. Before it even shipped, right. I don't know what it is about. I do have them on the shelf for a I think, don't they try to say that Axel is always just reusing stuff and just kind of... Yeah, so what's wrong with... Right. Uh, you know, if it lives in the ecosystem of SEX24 and they make all these brass parts for it, right. what's wrong with it shipping? There's nothing wrong with that. Uh, hold on. This one, I do believe, if it's oh, the orange turned, version. I'm sorry. No, that's quite all right. I got that's a good right. question for you. Yeah, what's going oh, on? Sorry about that. How do you know which is front and which is back? Um, <laughs> <laughs> that's a good one, yeah. dude. Seriously, how do you know which way is front and back? It's literally going to have something to do with that little... Rear pivot. Yeah, okay, so it's, it's the rear pivot. Yeah, Okay. that's pretty much it. Because literally when I, the body was on backwards. And yeah, that's like, probably me. I'll take, I'll take the, I'll take the hit on that one. Yeah, that might have been me to be fair. I was but. just like, I took it and I took the body off. I'm like, oh, wait a minute. Which way? Same, same. Like, Very symmetrical. Right, yes. dude. It's, yes. it's the same exact thing. The yin thing. to the yang, you know? Yeah. But, um, it's slightly, slightly changed. Obviously, you can see on the back there, it's got a pivoting little Velcro piece. Mm. But I was looking at it going, oh, but do you go by the way the spectrum is? But which, which way is the front? Well, you know, oftentimes, <laughs> you usually get the transmitter out. Dude, and that then, was a right. Right, exactly. Yeah, just yeah, figure, just figure it out. Yeah, go from that, you know? But, That's crazy. I actually like these bodies, you know, the old throwbacks. Right. I, I kind of enjoy them, and I think that, you know, they're coming in two nice colorations, honestly. Right. They're sporty. Right. A little bit of a... Green and uh, orange, huh? Somebody else does green and orange stuff, too, huh? I was going to say, I wonder who that could be, right? <laughs> a lot of guys walking around with good taste around here. Right. Sure, sure. That's funny. I don't understand the bad rap that people give a product before it even ships. Oh, it's, check that out. For 159 bucks, you're getting a uh, four-wheel steer. Oh, the AS1s are more than enough, too. I know a lot of people like going with the Emax. I've put the Emax on a couple things. But these AS1s, so far, I've, I've had no complaints with them. They seem to be forky enough. Good rolling response. Well, show the smoothness. Back up to front. Then to crab. So we're gonna navigate over to this channel over here. Get the front end lined up. Back up a bit. There we go, get the rock going. Switch over to traditional. Switch over again. How are you switching over? So, it's actually very convenient. Just so everyone knows, these come now with an SLT3 as opposed to an SLT2. And the SLT3 does provide you the thumb toggle switch here. 
in the topmost configuration, you will experience a crab. One down is traditional front, and another down is the tight radius. Super easy to use, pre-bound, no issues whatsoever. It, it functions directly out of the box. Very good articulation, very good turning radius, and these tires are actually ultra prosh. They're a larger size of Rock Lizard. Uh, same as the tread pattern as the original, just in a much larger configuration. And honestly, these larger tires wake the whole thing Do up. I seriously see rock lights? Oh yes. You gotta oh, be yes. kidding me, check this oh, out. Yes. This thing has rock lights. I did not know this thing had rock lights. You've gotta be kidding me. Look at that. Four corner actual rock lights. Mm -hmm. That is wild. And this is that new uh, Let's see if he's got the skill. One. Uh, ESC and RX. Ooh, look at them. That makes it all possible. That's two a, in one SCRX. Yes. SLT. Uh -oh. uh oh. Oh no, I got it. I got oh, it. Oh, oh. We'll you see okay. the hand. I'm gonna oh, switch up. It. He thinks he's got it. Oh, oh. I gotta walk it a little bit. Hold on here. We're gonna crab it. <laughs> Hit the opposite uh, crab. Uh, back up. Uh, go the other this, way. Look at this. Look at this. He's That's that crab it. walk coming no into play, people. No way he's getting it. Gotta walk it back and forth. I think one more orientation should switch back to just front wheel so that I can keep the rear locked. And he's Unbelievable. It. It's a performer, that, people. That was good. It's that was good, man. Yeah. It's a performer. See, that's what that's about, man. And I'm not a crawler guy, but that was pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's nice. And for the price, honestly, I think a lot of people would be happy. What with is it this. coming in at? $159.99. That's not a bad price. And for anyone who is asking about the wiring, because I know a lot of people have had a couple of concerns about the wiring, it's actually relatively tucked up. It's tidy. The rock lights seat neatly into these little housings. The battery tray is actually very functional. There's no issue with it whatsoever. It opens right up. He slides right in. Nice snug fit. So you're not the battery gonna... are we looking at? So this is actually the same configuration as an SCX24 and it's styling. It is the Dynamite 350 2S30C. Right. Which, you know, are relatively affordable. They come in at about 17, 18 bucks. And That's do, not too bad. Do last roughly 30 minutes to 45. Uh, on a pretty aggressive crawl session. Right. Well, you know, I'll keep two or threes in my pocket. So is this thing 100% RTR out of the box? Completely so. And that's Does what it, it actually come with re the batteries for the remote? That ah. I do all, no, ah. see here's the thing. Well, hold on. Does it? How can I help you? Here's, oh. the, here's how we're gonna check. Oh, here's, how we're gonna check here's how we're gonna check, people. Here's how we're gonna check. Here's how we're gonna check. We're gonna see what kind of brand. Oh yeah, check yeah, they come with them. Fully ready to run, baby. Even totally comes with the doubles. Fully ready to run. That's something I talk about all the time. Yeah. Like, is it really ready to run? About as ready to That's run as she awesome. gets. For well, sure. That takes a little bit used to getting used to the toggle switch here. Yeah, the toggle switch is not, uh, you know, exactly. Everybody easy. knows me. My second name is toggle switch. And yeah, it's because it's <laughs> yeah, on or off. <laughs> on, or on or off toggle switch, yeah, and I yeah. just toggle switched it. All right, let's check this thing out. Let's see if I've got what it takes. All right. Not necessarily. I think it just cycles, right? Yes. Yeah, so yeah. I forget which position is up and which position All is right. down, but they are set to So let's see. So that's just front. You guys have a good day. Mm -hmm. Crab. Mm -hmm. Nope, still. Huh. Front. Goes out so we can show off the turning radius of how tight it is. Oh, yeah, he can do like a show off how tight. There you go, cool. You know what I mean? How, t how tight the steering All is. All right, so what it is is crab walk is up, down is front steering, and then bottom is tight corner. Your tight corner, right? All right, so that's what it is. So, uh, pressing down on B gives you your tight cornering. Mm. Go up one, you're in front steering only. Go up again, and now you're in the crab mode. Sure. So A is crab. So yeah. B so is, A is, is crab. B is corner. what it's called? I just call it tight cornering. Tight cornering. Yeah. Close right. radius. Yeah. Whatever. So. You want, you know. Oh, this already failed. See that? <laughs> That's what makes it fun. Oh, you should see when I send my ten two down the mountain. Literally, yeah. My girlfriend's like, oh, didn't that cost you money? I said, yeah, ah, well, yeah, I can always fix it. Wow. Front and rear diffs are locked, obviously, because, was it that worm gear? Yes, you're 100% right. correct. It is the worm gear configuration. 
Oh, check that out. And if you have it turned in the back, once you switch down, it stays. Which is, I thought that was very interesting. Huh. Yeah, the 51 millimeter shocks on there. I'm thinking of actually transferring those over to a couple of other SCX24 projects. Right. You know, just getting the whole ecosystem of pop-ups driving together. Don't be afraid to give her a little bump up, give her a little, yeah, uh, give her a little gas. Servo horn is getting stuck on it. Mm. Yeah, that's a little bit to get used to, huh? It's very odd, yeah. Trying to figure out... So I do it's believe you're still front. in crab. Now you're it's in, in front. It's in front. Yeah. There you go. All right, now... Yesterday, <laughs> it's super that's good enough. Like, that's crazy. That is actually pretty cool. Say it all day long. I'm definitely not a crawler guy. Sure. sure. But crawling kind of can be fun because what it does is it, it kind of gives you, especially like when we're coming up to a negative six degrees. Right. You can be inside at least messing around with something like this. And how much did you say that was for? One hundred sixty-nine, ninety-nine. Yeah. So one hundred and sixty bucks for something like that. Completely RTR, like real RTR, out of the box. Comes with batteries for the remote, battery for that, a little USB charger, obviously. Yes, yes, it yep. does. It now, is the what is the charger? Off. Is the charger a Spectrum little thing, charger, so or is it also little, dynamite? It's a little dynamite guy, and I can actually really quickly just give a little rundown on him. He's actually not a bad unit. Goes directly into a USB slot. Now, you can use this off of a either a computer or a wall block. Right. It is preset at 1.5 amps max. So That's what I was going to ask. Yeah. So, so if you put it into a 45 watt charger, it's not going to yeah, overvolt okay. or anything okay. like that. It is locked to 1.5, which is obviously a relatively safe right. rate for. It's actually a quick rate for a little 350 right. milliamp hour. To be fair, what's the so, average charge time? Would you guess? So I, at home, out of a little you know wall warp power block. Normally, this guy can top me back up in about the same runtime. So if it's 45 on the drain, it's about 45 on the charge, to be fair. But okay. it's never taken longer than an hour. And so. you said the optional batteries are 17 bucks yeah, or somewhere 17, around there? 18 bucks. Do you guys stock those? Yes, we do. I have them in multiplicity. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we always so what's, so what's the biggest battery this could take? What's in it, right? So as of right now, what is currently in it is kind of what we're working with here. I already have a couple of ideas as to how we could potentially stack two on top. Right. And either that or move to a configuration in which you can actually have two directly next to each other in the tray. Right. Now it's gonna take a little bit because it's almost perfectly, it will, right, right, almost right. perfect dimension if that's your center point right. to being symmetrical. Maybe somebody could 3D print some doors or something. Oh, you know what's funny? I actually happen to know somebody <laughs> hey. who's pretty good at 3D printing, so, you know. <laughs> That's a riot. You know, I got the hookup. So. That's a riot. But yeah, you know, so these are going to be very creative platforms. I can already picture oh, entire comp man. classes coming out for them, you know. You guys um, have these in stock now? Oh, I have both colors, and I have quite a few of each. We were lucky enough... Uh, the, the Horizon Hobby Gods have blessed us with a new stock of fresh products. So. Am I going to walk out of the store with one of these? I'm not a crawler guy, but at negative six degrees, I might be a crawler guy today. <laughs> Why not, right? Why not? That is actually pretty cool. I was telling uh, people... I was pretty impressed by it. I was actually telling people that even though I'm not a crawler type of person, that I may walk out of the store with one of those just because we've got we got negative six degrees coming for tonight. <laughs> and Without wind chill, that's not. Yeah, well, that's saying, not wind chill, right? So yeah. it's a negative seventeen with wind chill or thirty-one. Some, yeah, something it was going to be. They're canceling school, so Boston canceled schools because of it. So polar I was thinking, vortex. right? Yeah, polar vortex, exactly. In, in Foxborough. Yep. So I was thinking. I mean. Out of all the cars that are in the store, I may walk really out dangerous. with this tiny little crawler car. And I'm not a crawler guy, but the whole point is, is that when you're stuck inside, 
and you don't want to be outside, grab something like that. This little, what's this thing called again? XC1. XC1. Grab one of these XC1s, completely RTR, completely RTR out of the box. And you can go ahead and have a blast. Like I said, even the rock lights. I was soup whoa. Look at the articulation on that. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. Yeah, I think I'm I think I'm gonna go ahead and walk out with one of these little bad boys. So there you go. So as I as I make my cold, as I make my cold leisurely walk over to the trash barrels over here, it is freezing out. I'm telling you right now, man, it's bad. See if these things are picked up, right? Picked up, yep. Picked up. Yep. Gotta go ahead and check the mail. But um, yeah. So RC Guy Garage merch, it's not only available online at the RC Guy Garage merch shop, but now, and we'll see for how long, it's available at Hobby Quarters in Foxborough, Mass. So, if you buy it over there, you don't have to pay for shipping. <laughs> but you do have to pay sales tax. But anyways, um, yeah, so that's pretty cool. Yeah, so, do you think I walked out of the store with something? Tell me what you think. What was cool was my kiddo, she's like, how do you attach the scanner? So we're gonna go ahead and attach the scanner so I can show her how to do it.